King Arthur, a name that resonates throughout history as the embodiment of chivalry, courage, and righteousness. But how did this legendary figure come to be? According to the tales, it all began with a prophecy and a powerful wizard. Merlin, the wise and mysterious sorcerer, foretold that a great king would one day unite the warring factions of England and bring peace to the land. This king, he said, would be born of noble blood and possess great power and wisdom. And so it was that Uther Pendragon, a nobleman and warrior, sought the aid of Merlin to help him father a son who would fulfill the prophecy. Merlin agreed, but only on the condition that the child would be given to him once he was born. Uther agreed, and thus it was that King Arthur was born in secret and handed over to Merlin. The child was raised in obscurity, hidden away from the world and known only to Merlin and a select few. But as King Arthur grew older, it became clear that he was destined for greatness. And so it was that Merlin devised a plan to reveal his true identity and prove his worthiness as the Chosen One. And thus, the Sword in the Stone was born. According to the legend, whoever could pull the sword from the stone would be the rightful King of England. And so, with great fanfare, the sword was placed in the stone and a proclamation was made throughout the land. Many tried and failed to pull the sword from the stone, but none succeeded. Until one day, a young squire named Arthur stepped forward and pulled the sword out with ease. The people were astounded, and thus began the legend of King Arthur. The sword, of course, played a central role in the legend of King Arthur. It was a symbol of power, justice, and the divine right to rule. And some say that its ties to the Shadow Fae were strong, for it was said that they too were drawn to objects of great power and significance. And so, the birth of a hero was complete. King Arthur, the once and future king, had proven himself worthy of the mantle of leadership. But his journey was far from over. In the next section, we'll explore the Knights of the Round Table and their quest for glory and honor.